Okay, I don't know why I waited so long to actually start filming, but okay, sure, whatever. Hi there, my name is Sandy Esprit, and welcome to my YouTube channel, and I am bringing you a new vlog. So today I decided to do a little cleanup, because I needed to. Uh, I am notorious, I'm so bad at not cleaning up my makeup brushes, and it's really bad because, well, dirt breeds bacteria, and bacteria isn't good for the skin. And now that I'm wearing more and more, I'm wearing makeup more and more these days, I probably should get on top of that. So, I decided to go on Amazon a few months back and like, I bought this makeup brush cleaner because I've usually been using soap, like literally I've been using bar soap to clean my brushes. I love the way um, bar soaps clean, but I think it's time that, you know, I use better products. So I decided to give this makeup cleanser a try. Okay, so the cleanser that I'm going to be testing out with you guys today is the Real Technique. This is the Real Technique uh, brush cleanser. I'm supposed to use it weekly. We will not talk about the last time I actually uh, washed my brushes. I, I don't think I need that kind of embarrassment in my life. But this is supposed to uh, cleanse. It's a make. It's a brush cleansing gel. So the way this works is that I'm supposed to squeeze a drop of gel onto the palm or onto my palm or a brush cleansing palette. Add warm water and um, swirl bristles into gel and water. And then I'm supposed to rinse until clean. And I'm supposed to be careful not to immerse the base of bristles. Then I reshape dry. So it seems pretty simple enough. Um, I just hope that it is that simple. So let's go ahead and try that out. So I'm going to take one of my makeup brushes. I do have a cleansing brush palette thingy. It's it's pretty it's pretty dirty because it's been used quite often. Um, I got this off of Amazon like a while back. So that's that's what that is. I'm going to turn on the water. Oh, wait, maybe I should just add this first. All right, let's go ahead and drop that. What's it called? Ooh, okay. We're gonna add this in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with a foundation brush. Add some warm water, like it says. Right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and. Let's see what I get. Alright. Oh, thanks. Maybe he's flipping over. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and scrub, 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 scrub. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep. Okay, so I'm seeing some cleansing. Like it's not as bad as it was before. I'm, gonna keep. I'm using this on my Equal Tools um, foundation brush. Yeah, it's not really coming out though. Maybe it's because I've been like leaving it in too long. Oh no, I'm not really feeling this one right here. Okay, so it has, it, it, there is, it did clean somewhat, but I still see like, yeah, it's, it's somewhat clean. Um, there is still quite a bit of foundation in there. Like I can still see it. So I'm going to go back to the way I used to do things. All right, so what I would do is wet soap. This is an old ivory soap and scrub and I can still see and now I'm seeing the foundation actually like lift off of there let's see if it's gonna get rid of everything I don't know why the water's running and then scrub that against my hands Ooh, look at that, look at that. What is that? Well, that girl, that is your foundation. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it ain't white. 
See that? That's pretty much everything that it kind of left over. And that ain't cute. Look at that. Look at that. That is not clean, folks. Yeah. That's not the color I want to see. Okay, so I'm going to rinse all of that off. And of course I don't want any residue of the soap. And this is definitely a lot cleaner. I don't see anything left on there. Even with a, all right, so with that said, this is definitely cleaner, it smells nicer. Um, yeah, so if it comes down to the old ivory bar of soap versus the uh, makeup brush cleanser, soap one, makeup cleanser zero. So I guess that that was a nice little fun experiment. Um, <laughs> to see which one will actually clean my brushes. I guess that's really the whole point of this video. So which one of these actually cleans makeup brushes uh, easier? Well, it turns out the bar of soap did the trick, got everything out, and um, I know it's not as gentle on the bristles as, you know, as I would like it to be. And if I was using makeup brushes that had real, hum well, real human hair. Oof, I hope there are no makeup brushes with real human hair. But if I was using makeup brushes that have hair versus, you know, the pl plastic ones, I might worry more. Um, but, you know, for everyday drugstore makeup brushes, mm, I'll go with these guys and I will use my makeup brushes as is. Um, especially when it comes to those stubborn stains, stubborn makeup, uh, foundation, powders, all that other stuff. I really want it out of there. So yeah, makeup, brushes, cleanse very well with a bar of soap. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm sure you probably already knew that, but you're welcome. So by all means, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and comment down below any other kind of videos that you guys wanna see. And I'm gonna go back and finish cleaning the rest of my makeup brushes because there are tons of them and um, it's, it's pretty grimy in here in these streets. Check out the next video. I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now.